Hello, my YouTube family. Gladly chosen. Please subscribe to the channel. Share, like, comment. I'm doing this video because um, basically um, it's a topic that people really don't talk about or really discuss. But God put it on my heart today to speak about basically um, women, the way we carry ourselves. Like, for instance, I'm a petite woman or whatever. And I don't know if y'all can see see my little my little stomach or whatever now i look at that as something positive because i've had three children and uh i don't have stretch marks and etc and uh when i was younger i used to put on you know the little shorts that accent my compliment uh compliment or accent what i have on in my figure but as time went on you had men in my family such as my uncle um uh, you know, that would tell me that's not the way you carry yourself being a lady. So, being that I'm older, I carry myself, I try to carry myself with more dignity than I did when I was younger. Because when you know better, you do better. So, with that being said, yes, my stomach is out. But if I see a man looking at me in a manner that's provocative or something, it make me feel very uncomfortable. But... Most men are mature enough where they see a woman's stomach, you know, they that's it. But when you start being around people that's drooling over you and stuff like that, then you know that you need to go put some different clothes on. For instance, I had a homeboy or whatever. That's what I looked at him as. But I could tell that if I wanted it to maybe turn a different route, then it could have, you know. But I kept it in a platonic manner. Anytime he would come around, if I was dressed the way that I am now or had some tights or some shorts on, I would go change my clothes because that's our job as women. We don't need to be tempting these men, especially, you know, if they have someone. Um, you, We need to be respectful. We need to be respectful. You know, if they with somebody and you doing stuff like that, you reap what you sow, it's going to come back to you. And also, it's been a lot of women... You know, uh, women, they possess a spirit, the Jezebel spirit. Not just women, men, people possess this spirit. You know, you have to be careful of those Jezebel spirits because they will lead you astray, especially men. Um, everybody suffers or people can suffer from, from lust being a problem in their life. So once something like lust comes in, you don't want it to swallow you over, you know. We all um, are grown. We're adults. People may have their urges or whatever, but when you start letting something control you, that's where you go downhill. It, you know, um, you should be able to train your mind as a turn off and on switch whenever you need to. You shouldn't be easily satisfied with your eye. And the Bible speaks upon basically. Um, it speaks upon uh it speaks upon adultery. It even says that if a man is married and he looks at a woman with lust in his heart, he has committed adultery. So it's very deep what you look at out here and how it can affect your mind, it can affect your spirit, it can affect your body. So that is a topic that I want to talk about um for us women. When well, you just putting pictures on Facebook and stuff, you think that you're just getting likes. But in the meantime, it's deeper than that. It's a lot deeper than that. You sitting here, you're basically putting a spell upon these men, a lustful spell, a trap, a, a lust trap. And uh, that's what our job is not to do. You know, men and women, for that, um, for that matter, they have enough problems on their own. We don't need to be shoving nothing down nobody's throat. We already got all this stuff on TV and in the music industry and stuff taking us. You know what I'm saying? And us women, we need to hold ourselves to high standards. So we could try to help these men. And maybe by us helping the men, the men can help us. And we could be put back in the position where we need to be put at. We need to raise our daughters not to be these Cardi B's. These Megan the Stallions and stuff like that.
yeah, they speak upon sexuality and everybody says, well, if a man can do it and this and that, that's the problem. Women want to do everything that men do and men operate out of their flesh. Everyone operates out of their flesh, especially somebody that doesn't have the spirit. So with that being said, women, we need to be covering up and uh, men, you can turn your head sometimes. You don't have to. You don't have to hawk down everything that you see because it's a setup and it's a trap. It's a test. It's a test. You know, people say it ain't nothing wrong with looking, but sometimes it is something wrong with looking. Especially when you have a wife, a girlfriend, etc. You know what I'm saying? Um, to glance is okay, but when you get to staring and veering off in your mind and different things like that, then, you know, you have to rebuke that. You have to rebuke those thoughts. Because you don't want to be a slave to lust. You don't want to be a slave to temptation. Because that's one of the main things that's uh, keeping God's people out of heaven. So, gladly chose and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do some more videos. i also like to give a shout out to the three subscribers that I got today. Um, those are some strong brothers I could see. And I appreciate them for viewing my channel. I'm going to be uh, dropping more knowledge. Y'all, please give me comments, anything y'all would like me to discuss or talk about. But um, just subscribe to the channel. Um, I enjoy doing what I do, and I'm going to be doing it regularly. So far, I have 107 videos, and I'm going to be just doing this on a regular basis. Anything that I feel that's in my mind, my body, my soul, and my heart, I'm going to discuss. Gladly chosen. Subscribe to the channel. Like, share, comment. Thank you.